A blind woman's nervous but excited about skydive. I'm going to read into this story from the BBC, you guys. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Regan Elite here with another good news, good vibes story here. And this one is from the BBC with the headline of a blind woman is nervous but excited about skydive. A blind woman doing a skydive to raise money for charity. She is nervous but excited and expects her guide dog to be excited too. Um, I absolutely, um, I have to say fair play to this person for doing this and doing this for charity as well. This is also a wonderful thing to see. I will just bear in mind this this um, story is quite a bit old. So um, hopefully she would have raised uh, a very good amount of money and uh, it all went well for her. But, um, you know, for, for being blind and, and not being able to see the world, but to be able to, but what I, I suppose you, you can let your imagination run wild when you jump out, jump out of that plane and feel 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 the air around you must be an an, uh, an amazing feeling for sure. I'm you know uh, someone once asked me would I consider it? I I, I maybe one day I would consider doing a skydive, but um, uh, I certainly don't feel as brave as as this uh, this woman is. That's for sure, guys. So Lorraine Kent is doing a tandem skydive to raise money for guide dogs with her partner her with a dog Ungo at the Golden Retriever back in 2017. Ms. Kent, who is from Derby, said Ungo had transformed her life and enabled her to do things independently. Ungo will not be accompanying her on the tandem skydive on Saturday, but will be waiting on the ground for her to land. I think he'll be excited just as he gets excited about everything, she says. He'll just start wagging his tail and wondering what's going on. The man who lives in Chatters, uh, uh, Chaddles Den was born with a high mobilia and wore glasses and contact lens from a young age. As she got older, she had complications from the myoma and her sight started to deteriorate while she was pregnant with her second child in 2004. She said that losing her sight while looking after two young children was difficult, and it was really frustrating, she said. I used to have to pick up my children up from a nursery, and I couldn't see in the dark. I can always remember walking back and trying to avoid all the bushes. There were lots of difficult times. By the time her third child was born in 2012, she had completely lost her sight. Lorraine decided to get a guide dog so she could take her son to school independently and she was partnered with Ungo in 2017. I can always remember the day I did it all on my own and the feeling was amazing. To be able to take him to school, drop him off and come home on my own, she said. My heart was beating all the way and I was pounding out of my chest. It was so scary. But that feeling of doing it, walking on your own at normally, uh, normally at a normal walking pace is amazing. That's wonderful. It's a very uh, an incredible challenge for for people to not be able to see see with their eyes. Um, and, uh, it's, I can't imagine what it was like for her to, you know, ha to have those children and then you know lose to lose that sight. A ho horrible, but now she's she's a lot happier and, and she's got a great companion at her, at her side. She described Ungo as amazing, the most loving dog. Even now, at the age of nine, he still gets excited, and he's so lovely. He follows me everywhere at home, she says. She decided to do the charity skydive after finding out about it in a Facebook post, and she has already raised more than a £1,000 through sponsorship. Although she has always wanted to do skydive, she is also apprehensive. I think it's more to the fact that I can't see, and I've got hearing loss as well. I think I'm going to be communicating okay, she said. Uh, she's one of more than 100 people across the UK are taking part in 12 different skydive events for guide dogs, which they have nicknamed Blind Panic. Collectively, they are hoping to raise £100,000. Claire Robinson, a fundraising manager for Guide Dogs, said, We'd like to say a big thank you to Lorraine and all the volunteers taking part in the Blind Panic Challenge to help raise vital funds for our organisation. And as a charity, we rely almost entirely on donations and fundraising, so every penny she raises will make a difference to people living with a sight loss. And uh, like always, guys, the links will be in the description if you want to have a look for yourself on it, guys. Um, wonderful, wonderful stuff. Um, fair play to all those uh, who are taking part. And uh, I really do hope they raise, that, raise the money. They raise the money for it. But it's a, a lovely, a lovely, it's lovely to see that, um, you know, to 
when something as terrible has happened to lose your sight over time and obviously sadly she's losing her hearing um but still despite all that she has a companion that's always there at her side always there for her if she needs it and giving her that independence is such a massive massive thing you know we always want to try and give people as much independence as they possibly can in life and i think it's really really important to do so and uh i couldn't be more happier for her and um you know um and fair play yeah for her doing the skydive and anyone else taking part in that as well uh lovely stuff guys so what do you guys think what do you guys make of this lovely story let me know your thoughts and more down in the comments section below if you found this video enlightening please hit the like button we greatly appreciate share this across social media so others are notified of this video if you haven't subscribed already please consider subscribing because it really does help support the channel so thank you all so much for watching and i hope to catch you all very very soon Thank <laughs> you.